Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Creative 47 YouTube channel. I'm getting ready to do a video to answer someone's question. Can I still do print and cut if I take the image apart to change color? Yes, you can, and I will show you how to do it. Make sure you have your registration marks on first. Let's get started. So I pulled in the image that you re was talking about, and I'm getting ready to go ahead and do the trace. And this is button over here to your right. Yours might be at the top. Either way, the button looks the same. I'm in business edition. So I'm going to select trace area. I'm going to go ahead and draw that trace window over. Now, usually when I'm doing uh, an image, I do trace and detach. This one, I need just the outline so I can break it, the image apart. So I'm up here with your threshold instead of going to the right. You're going to go to the left and usually I just click inside the box and that is what I want. Now it's better for when your outline like this is thicker because then you get a good, um, a good um, image to work with as far as breaking it apart. So now I'm just going to do trace because I just want the outline. I want them to just trace those yellow lines and there you go. So now I have the image here. I'm going to right click and do release compound. That's going to release all those pieces, the eyes, the nose, the fur, so I can change the color. I don't need that. So now what I want to do, I want to take away this black part and move it to the side. We're not going to get rid of it because we, oops, we're not going to get rid of it. We just need it to, to be out the way so we can work with the other one because this black outline is the background of ammo. So now I have to open up his mouth because if I don't open up his mouth, this is what's going to happen. And if I put this back, matter of fact, I'm just go ahead and change this to black. And I'm just doing the outline because I don't like the outline around my stuff. So this is the fill in button here. That's where you fill it all in and right up under that. And you click on the, the color line style. And you can change the outline, which I just changed it to black. Or you can just change no outline right here next to the white button here. And any colors that you have used recently will stay up here. So you don't have to go down there. If you want to change it to white, you can change it to white or whatever. Okay, so now I need to open that up. So what I can do, I'll keep this green. I can click on that, hold my shift key down and click on the mouth right click and make compound path that opens that up and now i need to do the same thing to the eyes because this is also is white in between there so i'm gonna hold my shift key down click on that and grab all of this right click make compound path and now you can see the black coming through there otherwise you would have saw white so now i want to change the the nose color to this color and sometimes you might not have that color in your color palette here but if you click on this eyedropper here when you click on your um fill panel button click on the eyedropper and go over to the image and click oops i gotta click on the outline click over now i gotta go get this one okay then click make sure your your outline is clicked and then you go get your dropper and then coming over here to the image and it changed that color there and you can see how that and now i can go ahead and click on this and change it to white and actually i'm gonna go right up under the fill panel and click on the line style panel click on the color lines and just click no outline and matter of fact i'm just going to drag my arrow over all that and click on right here or right here up at top recently used I've been using the no outline for a while so I click on that and it takes away all that red outline now I can put this back over here now for print cut once you do all this you want to put your stuff back together as even as possible making it sure it looks right now usually I don't group it together right now because I'm getting ready to check and make sure that when I after I print it and then take it to my cutter that it won't cut out 
all these piece, pieces individually because I'm doing a print and cut instead of paper piecing. So I go over here to send and I'm looking at the outline. It will cut out every piece. It will cut out the eyes, the nose, the fur, the, uh, the black outline, even inside his mouth, it will cut out. But you, you didn't ask for that. You want to do print and cut. So what I do is I click on the nose, hold my shift key down, click on the fur and the eyes and do no cut. And that way it just do the outline. It will cut instead of the inside. Okay. You got me. So I go back to design right up here. Then that's when you are ready to go ahead and do your print and cut. You don't have to group it together. You can group it together. You can go ahead and drag your arrow over there, right click and group and go back to send and make sure everything is straight and it still has the outline around it okay and now you can go and do your print and cut so i hope that helps if not let me know and i'll try to uh, figure out something else for you but until then have a blessed day and see you in my next video bye